Hello and welcome to the third episode of Crazy Raids. Now for this episode, it's going to be two raids with similar compositions. They were highly requested, so I had to do them. That being said, if anyone's offended by the name, blame people that requested it. It's Valkyries, Giants, and Archers. Vagina. Yes, it is the Vagina and Go Vagina raid. If anyone's offended, blame someone else. As you'll probably notice, I did not put that in the video title. I do not want to be found when people search that term, as you might understand. Now, there are some people that have a uh, little bit of difficulty f understanding the concept of crazy raids. What it is, is not like crazy good. It's like crazy, what were you thinking? Why are you using those troops? So I got some feedback from some people. It's like, hey, this is like no skill raids. Why are you calling them crazy raids? You're smashing like Town Hall 9s. That's not the crazy part. If you're looking for crazy good raids, check out my clan wars, like Ice Ice Baby versus In the Dark, any Farming King clan wars, pretty much most of the Rising and Sky clan wars, or any of my pushing videos with Forum Elite or my push to the top 200 if you're looking for raids where I'm smashing maxed out Town Hall 10s or someone else is smashing maxed out Town Hall 10s. There's also a bunch of other raids like a raid by Juggernaut where he three stars a max Town Hall 10 and some raids like... Two from Ice Ice Baby where they three-star maxed out Town Hall 10s. So if you're looking for crazy good when you're looking for crazy raids, go ahead and check those videos by me. These are crazy, like, what were you thinking? Why are you using Valkyries at all? Kind of crazy. This is a continuous series. I'll be doing, like, maybe three a week. And anyone can challenge me to anything. If you can think of some weird combination of troops that I haven't posted yet, go ahead and post it here. And I will try to either 3-star Town Hall 9 with it or 2-star Town Hall 10. So I'm going for the Town Hall 10 since this carries golems. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in 3 golems, clear the sides with some Valkyrie. Unfortunately, that Barbarian King is going to take out my Valkyrie. One Valkyrie is not enough even to take out that little tiny king. But I'm going to go ahead and pour my troops in. He's got two single target infernos. And all my wall breakers are going straight for that junction right there at the corner. So, okay, that wall breaker is kind of retarded. And he kind of broke a pointless wall even after compartment was opened. But anyways, my troops are already in the core. I'm going after that elixir. I need that elixir. Now, originally, I wanted to use only my queen for all these attacks. Because the king sort of doesn't fit the name of the attack. But... As you'll notice in just a second, I have to drop my king just because I'm a little bit stupid. Just a little bit. So I've already taken out most of the elixir. I'm going to be taking out that elixir. I'm low on spells. I only got to jump and freeze. But I forgot his town hall was outside. And I can only win if I get the two stars. So I dropped my king on the town hall to take out the town hall. Let's just pretend the town hall was in the center and I never dropped my king. I think I can live in denial. I probably shouldn't have dropped that free spell. Probably should have just used my queen's ability. So let's see what I can do. I still got level 40 heroes out with almost full health. I don't have any spells left though. So I don't know if I can take that 3 star. So let's see. At Archer Tower is targeting my king. I'd rather have them target my king than target my archer queen since my king still has his ability and he'll summon a bunch of barbarians and he's got way more health so i'm really hoping that my ki my ah, sorry my queen gets behind my king and starts taking all that crap out unfortunately my queen is now going to die there's no way she can take out that cannon before it kills her and no queen is down all i have left is the king let's see if my king can take out 25% just by himself He's already getting a little low on health, but I want to save his ability for when he's hitting a wall. So he's going for the wall now. I'm going to pop that ability, heal him up, and send out all those barbarians. Unfortunately, everything is still targeting the king, but luckily the barbarians are splitting off and going around taking out other stuff. Yeah, see, I like it when they split up like that. That way I can take out more stuff at a time. And everything's, of course, going back outside in the wrong direction. I wish they would just leave that one barbarian by himself to take everything out. 
So I'm just going to have to wait to see if he can get through these walls. There's no way I'm taking out 15% in 20 seconds. This isn't going to be a three-star. I'm pretty sure you can all tell that. But anyways, he's going to be moving all the way back across the base, but they're not getting there. There's too much buildings and too many walls. I got nine seconds. But I did get 400,000 elixir, which was really needed because I'd been getting low on elixir. So all in all, this was a victory. A slightly premature base, but still a victory. Got my 400,000 elixir, no gold at all, but whatever. And I'm going to lag a little bit. Hopefully I don't disconnect, but I don't think I did. Oh, and good news, my next video will be my 5K Q&A. Thanks for all your support, and please just keep it coming. I really do appreciate all you guys do. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.